Hello everyone and this time in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a pulse to your um, video clip uh, using the event pan and crop option. So the first thing you're going to do is import the clip, drag it down into your uh, timeline, just delete that audio. So we've got this here, I'm just going to quickly split the clip and uh, delete that bit there cut that bit off and then we're also going to uh, disable the aspect ratio just to make it full screen and then we're going to import uh, a just a song drag that down there um, now this is the song you're going to be pulsing your video to um, so you want it to have nice steady even beats and then this is the event pan and crop which you're going to use to um, a a actually animate your clip so first of all what you want to do is mark every single um, beat there is with, an, with your marker which is actually the M key on the keyboard um, so I'm going to quickly do that now I'm going to just put the volume down and when we click play I'm just going to hit the M button on my keyboard every time there's a beat so as you can see I've just made one roughly on every single beat you can always click and drag them to where you want them to be but that's good enough for now um, so now we're going to click here into our event pan and crop a new window should pop up and as you can see here I have this blue line on my clip so to solve that I'm just going to zoom in slightly um, and we'll, we'll save this as the I don't know how to spell default default or how do we do it S save so we'll save that as default right now what I like to do is just make it a tad smaller just so you can see the top of these orange clips which makes it easier and make sure you can still see this animation clip down here now what you want to do is you want to click on your first beat which is going to be my here, my one here which says 1 make sure it's done it there and then what you're going to do is uh, on your screen here you're going to zoom in to how far you want it to pulse to so I'm going to make it quite large just to emphasize it so that's going to be my pulse that's how far your video is going to zoom in every time the beat kicks now you want to go roughly three to five frames to the left and of the right of your beat so I'm going to click here I'm going to use the arrow key to go one, two, three. I'm going to go four frames to the left. Now we're going to click my weird spelling of default, and it'll it'll go back to where you set it before. Now you want to go one, two, three, four of the opposite side of your um of your clip that you've just done, and set it to default again. So now when the video goes past, when it goes past it will zoom in bang to the pulse and then back out again now the more what most people do is now they go and do it for the next one and the next one and the next one but that takes a long time so what you want to do is click and drag over these three okay then click on your number two and then whilst, c whilst holding control on your keypad I'm not sure what it is for Max you want to hit control, hold it down, and then drag your um, uh, keyframes across. Uh, so now you have double the amount. It pulses in, out, and then in and out. Now to do that again, highlight them, click on number three, hold control, drag across. So the, the next three are highlighted. You click on your number four. You drag the next three across. 
click on number 5, drag them across, and you just do this process over and over again to each of the beats you've just marked. I, I'm just going to do it 10 times, we'll just do it 10 times to start off with, or we'll just do it 8. So there we have the 8 times that we've done it there, and if we go to the start, it should beat, it should the video should pulse to every single beat. Here we go. And as you can see here, it's pulsing to each one we've done. Now you can keep go going through that uh, for any sort of, uh, you know, after someone shot someone and you put it in slow motion, you can make it pulse to the beat. You can do lots of cool effects with that. But that's how you do the um, pulsing effect. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.